Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Ministry Hacks. Today I'm going to show you guys my favorite camera for live streaming and the camera that I take just about everywhere I go. Here we go. Check it out. But we have our Sony ZV-E10. And the nice thing about this is if you're looking for a budget-friendly camera to use for live streaming to get good quality and also record in 4K simultaneously, I, I believe this is the best bang for your buck right now. Of course, there's other options out there. Maybe you're a Canon guy, maybe you like other types of cameras, but I think this is a great starting point if you have the budget. Now, this is the Sony ZV-E10. They just came out with the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II, um, so you could check that out. It's a few hundred dollars more than this camera, and you might even see this, um, the Sony ZV-E10 one going on sale here soon because they've released the newer one. Um, but this is a great starting camera. It has the small rig cage on it. And you can kind of start to see there, right? It makes it a little more sturdy. And if you have one of these or when you do get one, um, here's another one that we have. This is what we use for our church services. This is more or less what it's gonna look like right out of the box if you get it with the kit lens. So there it is, right? got a kit lens on there. It's a 16 to 50 millimeter lens. It's not the greatest lens, but it's really not a bad lens either. We use this for our live stream for our service. So you can zoom in um, quite a bit there and get a nice angle. Um, so it comes with that right out of the box. We've added the uh, Ulanzi Falcom quick release mounts there just so we can slide them on and off of tripods pretty quick and easily. Um, but this is what it's going to look like. And when you get it right out of the box, it's actually pretty lightweight. It's like very light. It almost feels too light. And so what's nice is when you actually throw on this small rig cage, it just makes it feel like, I don't know, it just makes it feel solid. It makes it feel protected. It makes it feel just better in your hand. And so I like that. And then, of course, you get all the different mount options. We can start to mount microphones, lights. Other, um, we got quick release mount on the side so we can hit those shorts, reels, TikTok, right? Whatever you want to do. Um, we got a quick release mount on the bottom. You get an extra cold shoe mount on the bottom so we could throw a microphone, a light, or some other accessory on there. And then we got some more off to the side that we can put different things, um, whatever it is that you want to do. So it gives you more options there. So I would highly suggest if you get this, that you should look into getting the small rig mount on there or some kind of rig mount just so you can have more options for lights, for microphones, and anything else there. The really nice thing about this camera is that you can change out the lenses, all right? So I mentioned earlier that right out of the box with the kit lens comes with a 16 to 50 millimeter lens. It's a good lens out of the box, but it's not going to be the greatest, all right? And so what I have, um, this is a 16 millimeter lens. This does not zoom in, it's the Sigma 16 millimeter uh, Sony E-mount lens. And But this is a great lens if you're doing things like interviews or if you have someone um, that you're recording or live streaming or say you're live streaming like well, how I'm filming right now, a 16 millimeter lens is gonna be perfect for that. And then if you actually have just the static lens, like it doesn't zoom in and out, it actually gives you a lot more quality. So if maybe you're looking at your video versus other people's videos and you're like, how is it so crisp and clear and, and all those, right? Like I have the same camera, it could be the lens. The lens will change the game with your quality there and what you have. And so 16 millimeter lens, great option for things that are up front interview settings, right? If you're going around and just kind of capturing some content, good option. We also have the Sony lens. This is a Sony E-mount lens. All of them are E-mount. Anything E-mount wise you can put onto the Sony ZV-E10. It's the beauty of it. So there's a lot of options. But this is the other one that we carry in our bag. This is the 55 to 210 millimeter lens. So this one actually does zoom in there. And so we like to put this one on our camera a little further back for our church live stream. That way we can get a little bit of a tighter shot, but then we can also get some of the audience in there as well. And this has a very great quality there for a zoom lens. And so if you're looking for something like maybe you're 50 feet or so, or maybe even 75 feet back from the speaker or the subject that you're trying to shoot, this is a good lens that's just gonna give you some options when you're 
trying to kind of crop in and get um, a closer tight shot and so that's a good lens there uh, mic setups this is the microphone that i like to use with this setup this is the rode video go to mic all right i did a video if you want to check it out i'll put the link up here right of the rode wireless go to mics which are great options take anywhere you want i'll talk about those in a second but this is the mic that i'll use primarily if i'm doing some kind of interview or i just want to capture audio so i can sync up the video real well so this is the Rode video go to mic all right let me just clip it on here tighten it up then you're just gonna plug it in I mean this is super basic you guys know how to do this I'm sure all right and then now we got our mic option We're gonna want to make sure you dial in your sound settings on your camera make sure it's not too hot so that's not um, getting that feedback or that gain, the clipping. Um, so just make sure you dial that in, but great mic there. But then, as I said before, we have the Rode Wireless Go 2 mics, right? And I'll show you how these guys work and clip on there. Again, I'll put a video link for these if you wanna check out these mics and how we also use these. But the great thing here, say you got someone a little further off and you just, or maybe it's a loud setting, All right? We can clip this right into that cold shoe mount on top. All right, plugging in our audio cable into the mic jack. And then we can take our mic pack and we can go and put that on our speaker, say he's 10 feet away, 20 feet away, 50 feet away, wherever he's at, right? And we can actually get that audio synced up and it's gonna be nice and crisp. And these microphones, they do pick up um, some audio like around the surrounding areas, but they're actually very good as far as like if you're just kind of holding it in your hand or especially if you have the lapel mic, it's not going to pick up a ton of sound around just a little bit. But Rode Wireless Go 2 mic, great option there. You can just clip on, you're ready to go, and you don't have to worry about syncing audio later. So there's that option as well. And then a few features of why I love this camera for live streaming. Number one, it's budget friendly, right? If you're looking for a camera or a couple cameras to get into the live stream game, um, or you're trying to get your church or ministry or your business up onto live stream, this is a great entry level camera because it's not going to be super expensive, but it is going to give you great results. So it can record in 4K, which is awesome. But what I love about it is that it has autofocus, right? Sony cameras have amazing autofocus. It's one of the things that they're known for, and it's continuous autofocus. One thing to note, though, when you do get this uh, camera or if you have this camera is you're going to want to dial in the autofocus on your camera. And so when you go into the menu, one thing to note is that you're going to want to go to make sure you're in the movie um, section of the tab, and you're going to want to adjust the autofocus transition speed and the autofocus subject shift sensitivity, right? And so if that's too high, it's gonna have this pulsating effect where you're like, why does it keep doing that? It's because it's continuously autofocusing and correcting itself. And so if you have someone who's moving around, it's gonna be trying to track with that. But if you change it down, you dial it back a little bit, it'll have this smoother autofocus and it's continuous. And the nice thing too is like it will literally track your eyeballs and so you know that it's uh, it's going to be crisp. It's going to be autofocus and we use this for our cameras about I want to say 30 to 50 feet away from the stage of the speaker and it tracks the autofocus perfect. Um, so just check that out. That's one of the things I love about this versus some other cameras that sometimes you have to dial it in. Um, get that autofocus there. Maybe it has autofocus, but it's not continuous. Um, I love the Sony ZV E10 because it has that continuous autofocus um, there, real time, fast, reliable tracking system. Um, another feature about the camera, it's got great, depending on the lens that you have, it has great low light performance. So if you get a lens like this one, this is a 16 millimeter lens. All right, we can get this thing as low as 1.4 on that aperture um, part where we can get that blurry background um, effect and then the speaker or the subject really pops out from the background. 
that's a really great thing. This lens that we have on the camera that I'm shooting on right now, the lowest that that f-stop will go is 3.5. And so you can even see the background. It's not very blurry, right? This is the lowest this will get. This is the kit lens, um, just so you know, this is what you'll get right out of the box. But this is still a great setup, right? Um, but again, if you get different lenses, you can get different options and you can get any lens. It's a Sony E-mount lens to put onto your Sony ZV E10 to fit your specific needs. Maybe you need something that zooms in further because you're really far back. You can get those lenses for this, so it's great. Um, another feature just good about this, maybe you're not going to use it for church services or live streaming in that sense, but it's a great content creator camera that you can take anywhere. Again, it fits in the size of my hand. I put it into this little, little bag right here. Um, and I take it wherever I want, wherever I'm going. I take my Rode video go-to mic. I got a little um, small rig, tripod, handheld selfie stick thing so that I can set up a little on-the-go rig, whatever I need. And then I also got my small rig key light here um, that this will go either. I'll put it up here. Sometimes I'll put it on the bottom depending on the setup. Um, or maybe I'll put it on something itself, like around me that's just shining onto the me or the subject. Um, just a great go pack, a great camera to take wherever you're going, whatever kind of footage you're trying to shoot. Um, and so it's great. Uh, I already mentioned it has the versatile lens options. There's so many different types of lenses out there. Make sure you find the one that works for you. And I would even suggest having multiple lenses for different scenarios so you can change it up. Um, and shoot it and you don't need different cameras you just need different lenses um, the lens will will increase the value of your camera tremendously all right and then last but not least talking about live streaming um, it has the ability to stream in 1080p and record in 4k simultaneously and so the only thing i want to note about that is that it has two outputs you can use it as a webcam to live stream through the usb-c option which is a good option but you cannot simultaneously record if you're using it the usb streaming option so that's something to note so what you'll need to get is an hdmi a micro hdmi adapter to your hdmi cable that feeds into maybe your a10 mini pro into your computer whatever it might be that's streaming um, but that way when you use the hdmi uh, connector it will actually stream out the 1080p, but it can record simultaneously in 4K or whatever resolution you set it up to record in. So that's a really great option because as you might know, is when you're streaming, depending on your internet, sometimes it'll kind of go up and down. It can be a little choppy and it will affect the quality of your stream, unfortunately. And for us, we meet in a school for our church. And so the, the internet's not always super stable um, so the stream doesn't look always as crisp as we would like it to, but we have the 4K recording, which we go through and we post edit, and then we put that onto YouTube for people viewing after Sunday service so that they can get that really nice crisp video there. So that, again, that's the Sony ZV-E10. I'll put a link in the description for this camera, for the lenses I use, microphones, and even the things that are in my go bag if you want to check those out. Make sure you like and subscribe for more ministry hacks like this. We'll see you next time. Peace.